This is probably going to be weakness policy. Sneasel. Ooh, it could Ice Shard. Ooh, I didn't think about that. You get Ice Shard into Latios. So if the Ice Shards, we're in trouble. What is going on, everybody? I am Nexus Complex, and this is game three of Nettle Queen's Draft League Season 3. Today we're taking on Jay. His team is currently 1-2. and two. Um, They went 0-2 in Week 1. Uh, they had some pretty difficult matchups. They were able to beat the Mon Marshadow. And now we are taking them on. We're trying to uh, not get 6-0'd this week. <laughs> That is the goal. So, you know, our bar originally was let's win this whole fucking thing. And then game two happened. So the bar dropped. It's like limbo. Somebody just ran face first into the limbo bar. It fell. We had to pick it back up. And, you know, it, it's not like a limbo bar because I'm saying we're setting the bar lower. So it's not like a limbo bar at all. Now this bar is made alive. Uh, so maybe like pole vaulting? Maybe, like, like, yeah. I, I don't fucking know how stuff works. The bar is low. The bar is lowered. And the bar is now not to get 6-0'd this week. You know, start little steps, you work your way up, you know? Alright, so. Here we go. This is gonna be a fun matchup. We played Jay once last season, and he was able to do a beat-up thing on us and just kind of get me. We missed a Will-O-Wisp, but you really, if you bank on a move like that, bad things are gonna happen. So we've got to go, we got to go change one of these teams out. So we have a team, and our team is, <laughs> has a theme. So I don't know, hopefully everybody will get it. I know that Jay will get it. Uh, Jay likes playing 2K. He also likes betting on the NBA. Both things that I respect. So, he made a joke at one point about this. And if anyone in the league paid any attention to this and can pull this, who I haven't already told, I told a few people I was going to do this. So here we go. Um, so in the past, Jay has liked to play physical teams. And his team looks physical on paper, but they he does have some Pokemon that can go special. So Lucario can do both. Landorus, he has a base form Landorus. It can do both with Cheer Force Life Orb. So it is um, Definitely going to be interesting to see what happens. We're going to rock some Double Intimidate with Incineroar and Crocodile. Crocodile is not meant to attack. He does have stab moves just in case. But uh, that's not what we're going for. So, if we saw the potential of beat up, my best way to counter it uh, was to just try to kill Sneasel outright. Sneasel will probably be rocking Focus Sash. So the plan is, fake it out, it's got inner focus, but Choice Scarf Dracofish should outspeed the Weavile. Now he could also try to proc his weakness policy with Latios. So both of those things are possible. We are going to try to stop it. But good luck, have fun, Jay. So, this is going to be interesting. So, I think we're going to die from the Max Warm Wind, most likely. 
but we'll see. Hopefully we can stop the Sneasel. So Latias is going to max. This is probably going to be weakness policy. Sneasel. Ooh, it can Ice Shard. Ooh, I didn't think about that. It can Ice Shard into Latios. So if he Ice Shards, we're in trouble. But I'm hoping he Brutal Swings, but it'll probably Ice Shard. If I had to guess. Alright, so I don't think he Ice Sharded. No, he did. Fuck. Yeah, so this weakness policy is probably going to kill Dracofish. For sure. Because um, Max Worman makes the most sense into Latios. Uh, I knew I should have swapped there. I should have swapped into Reggie Ice. I was hoping I could take out the Sneasel before it happened. But Ice Shard, in the back of my mind, should have done it. So we lose Dracofish. That is huge. Alright, so that is not good. Losing Dragonfish is not ideal, but we can. I think we can work around it. So this looks like it's Sheer Force, most likely. Guessing it's sheer force. I don't think we'll kill Latios with the hailstorm. I don't think we will. But we can try to take out Lando. I might regret not targeting down the Latios because it could just light up my other mons. But we'll see. But that Lando is definitely sheer force. I'm hoping that it ran, um, it's running special instead of physical. But we'll see. Here we go with Reggie, guys. Lando might protect here, but we'll see. Earth power, yeah, we're gonna eat that up. Then a max flare, can we take that? Come on, baby. Ooh, yeah. Here comes the sun, which isn't great. But we get rid of Landorus. We are in a little bit of a position, though. So, unfortunately, I want to max guard, but I don't think I can max guard because I ran Assault Vest. So, so, we're gonna hope. Hope, 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 hope. That we can outlast this. So hopefully we can live here. I don't know. It's going to be really dicey. Um, hopefully this close combat doesn't hurt us that much. Hopefully the attack drop on Verizian will help us. But I'm worried about that. Ooh. Okay, so I think we live here. I think we live a Max Flare. So if we can get rid of the Latios... I think we can live here unless there's a crit. Okay, we live. So, if we can kill with the Max Hail here, we'll have another turn of Dynamax. Ooh, so, so close. Problem is, I think we go down to close combat. That is the issue that I see. But we can stop. We could swap Reggie out for another Intimidate. We could do that. Um, so we are going to fake out 
Latios. So we're gonna swap out. We're gonna lose our Dynamax here. But we're going to McCollum and see what we can do. We wanna keep Reggie. We wanna keep Reggie. I think Reggie will go down here for sure. I think it's gonna be a close combat. Into the, I, I might regret not doing the double intimidate on Verizian. But I'm thinking we can get rid of the Latios here. Nice. Close combat into McCollum. She's going to take that extremely well. That Verizian is not having a good time right now. Its defenses are very low. Incineroar is not having a great time either. Taking some, taking some damage. But we'll see here what we can do. Now comes Lycanroc. I think we're going to swap into Walton, get another Intimidate off. And let's just go ahead and Giga Drain the Lycanroc. I don't think anything's going to kill us here. So we're just going to get another Intimidate down on them. And if we kill Lycanroc here, he does a switch out Verizian. That is Verizian's second attack drop. And second defense drop. So... It's going to kill Crook, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Crook has played his part. So if if Crook going down here means that we've got a negative three defense Verizian and hopefully a negative three... Oh yeah. And this Giga Drain should do a lot to Lycanroc. Yeah, especially with the special defense drop. And we've got the big group, so we're going to get a lot of HP back. Nice. That Blossom is putting in some work. I love it. I love it. Alright, so... We still have Sigalith. McCollum is looking pretty good. We'll go in with Incineroar here. Titar. So we're going to get an attack drop here. The sand is coming in. We should be good. Ooh, maybe that... Was that Lando? Maybe? Was it maybe Sand Force? I don't know. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fake out. And... Well... Yeah. He's probably expecting... The fake out. I would, and I would probably run Protect on T-Tar. But maybe he goes for the KO. So let's see here. Nope. So close combat. Not gonna kill. It's gonna activate our berry, though. That's nice. So that Verizian is in really rough shape right now. So if we can do some good damage here with this Giga Drain. I think we'll be in a good spot. Ooh! Ooh! Is that thing... Is that thing vested, maybe? Maybe it's a salt vest. So... I really want to win more so than play for the KOs. So I think we're going to sacrifice Nurchic here. Strength Sap the T-Tar. Because now if we can just get attack drops in, uh, only crits will really mess us up and we'll give Sigalith a chance to come in here and sweep if it needs to. So that's fine. Verizian leaving is cool. T-Tar is what I'm more worried about. I'm expecting a Rock Slide. Ooh, McCollum missed it. So that's good. Reggie Ice is going to go down there, which is, is cool. I'm okay with that. Hit the strength sap. So McCollum's doing really well right now. Obviously, we're going to go back into Lillard here. Get another attack drop on the T-Tar. And Verizian. So they're doing next to nothing now. Um, I 
And I think he probably bounced into uh, Blossom. So let's swap Blossom out into Sigilyph here, which after these drops, they should not do much damage to us. The Rock Slide may hurt a little bit still because it's super effective. Yeah, it hurt more than I would like. I really think I should have, uh... Yeah, I'll probably protect Sigilyph here. Yeah, so I'm gonna protect Sigilyph here. Strength set the T-Tar again, because it's in, it's in special... It's special defense is boosted right now. So we're gonna protect. Prison's gonna bounce again. Not worried about it. So this T-Tar is pretty much gonna be rendered almost useless at this point. It is doing nothing to anybody. I think next turn we should be good to Ice Beam the thing. The Rizian just been getting beat up by weather the whole game uh, at this point. So we're going to go back into Lillard. And we're going to Ice Beam. Is Rizian faster? Rizian's probably faster than me, right? But I think Titar is the bigger threat to me right now. I don't think Rizian can really touch Sigma. So I think that T-Tar is like legit, I think they're both at like neg 6 attack right now. Like legitimately. Damn. That thing is legitimately insane. That thing is legitimately insane right now. Um, so let's... Probably should have faked out T-Tar. Holy shit. That did so much damage. So much damage. But I want to get rid of that Verizian real quick. Come on, live it, baby. Alright, so now I think it just comes down to Blossom doing Blossom things. I think I've probably played a little bit too... Um, a little bit too... too defensive here. I probably should have just gone for it. Um, I kind of drug it out, just trying to win the game, I guess. Um, There, there's no way the T-Tar can stand up to the Blossom at this point. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to be a 5-6 to six game. Yeah, T-Tar definitely kills Incineroar here. Uh, but uh, Blossom should win the game. I don't think there's anything T-Tar can do to it at this point. So not the type of game I normally like to play. Way more defensive. Way more defensive. This is a very slow game. I am very sorry. This has not been an enjoyable watch. But uh, I just really wanted to solidify the end game there. I knew that basically with Verizian and T-Tar on the field... They weren't going to be able to deal with the attack drops that I still had with Incineroar and Blossom and everything there. So, if I could just lower those attacks... Look at that. I mean, 
It's 15 damage. Like, literally 15 damage is being done to Blossom right now. So, really, really, really good game, Jay. You played really well. That Latios at the beginning with the fucking light ice shard. I was like, God damn it. But yeah, there, it's like 15 damage. <laughs> We're gonna get flinched. <laughs> We're gonna get flinched 20 times in a row. Third flinch. How many PP does Rockslide have? It's, is it one of the 16 or the 24? So, can we get the fourth flinch? Hey, we did it. Finally, a Blossom was able to move. GGJ, that was a really, really fun game, man. Um, always a pleasure when I play you. And, uh, yeah, again, guys, sorry, uh, sorry. That was probably the most boring battle I've ever played. So I apologize for that. Hopefully the next one is more entertaining. Uh, but we're 2-1 on in the season. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit more in the post game. Alright, so. Next day after the battle. Um, kind of thinking about it, looking at it. Um, happy with how the game was played. I... I know the Latios weakness policy was coming. I don't know why, and I, you know, I just slipped my mind. But Ice Shard, obvious. Weakness policy, Max Warm Wind, obvious. Uh, the play was to switch Reggie Ice in there and absorb that first Warm Wind. But that also would have changed the whole game. Um, Reggie Ice getting the free switch in to Dynamax basically stalled out the. Uh, the Dynamax turns for Latios. And doing that gave me the advantage. I was able to take out Landorus, and I was just kind of able to keep the things on the board and eventually whittle him down with drops. And uh, a much slower pace than we normally play. Um, I'm normally not a, let's, let's do the drops and beat them down slow stall game, but Sometimes you gotta hit him with the slow game. So, really solid win. Like I said, I think I might have played a little bit too defensive at the end. Uh, a little bit, uh, you know, just played it safe. Uh, maybe too safe, but at the end, Tyrantar was doing 15 damage to Blossom. So, unless we had the worst luck ever, and we had like four, the four flinches and each one was a crit, then we might have had an issue. But, uh, yeah, sometimes playing it safe is the way to go. Uh, I had to get the win. Get to 2-1. Uh, we have a tough matchup coming up against Ethan, another really, really good trainer. Um, the Doug Trio fall to 1-3. and three. Um, It's going to be really difficult for me not to say, um, apparently it's a verbal crutch. But for the Doug Trio, they're 1-3... They still make the playoffs, they still make a run. Jay is a really good trainer and a really good player, and his team is really, really good. Um, six people make it in the division, so he's definitely got a lot of season ahead of him, and the team is legit. So I expect to see him again in the playoffs. We're going to take a look at free agency, see if there's a move we want to make. Uh, we have a extremely, extremely hard week next week with Marco and Cody. We are currently in the top three of the division. So if we can get if we can split next next week, that'd be great. If we go 2-0, that'd be fantastic. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Great game, and uh, see you guys on the next one. But I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go.